What's up you guys, MTG Bros here and got a video of most recent Card Kingdom purchases. So first of all, in no way are we associated with Card Kingdom, not sponsored by Card Kingdom. Personally, I just like buying them because I understand their card quality, their rating system, their prices. I like it, so I continue to buy from them. It's been... I gotta say it's been over a year since I really started buying singles. So why now? I think prices have come down a little bit. Obviously still way, way, way higher than what I was buying them at before. But it's at a point where I think certain cards are worth the money you pay for them. Obviously that is subjective as everybody is in a different financial situation have different feelings towards certain cards but I'm gonna start dipping back into the market buying certain cards I like and if the price points are good pull the trigger so here let's it's been a while since I bought these probably a couple weeks at least you know nowadays shipping processing takes a lot longer than it used to so let's take a look at what I bought and we can kind of check out exactly how these cards are there's the first one Let's see their packaging is basically okay basically the same as before nothing has changed since let's do another one i'm hoping i can keep buying these things and we'll just make consistent purchases throughout the months I can share with you guys what I bought, why I bought, stuff like that. And the third one, let's take a look. It's kind of interesting, one thing I've noticed, I don't know about you guys, but it's been difficult finding near mint classified as near mint on card kingdom cards a lot are either bought out really fast i don't know if it's the demand is there or there a lot of people are just waiting snagging them or they just don't have that many near mint cards in stock or they're just holding it back i, I don't know what it is but compared to a year two years ago there's a lot less near mint cards on their website all right, so this first order is for Scroll Rack. I bought four of these. They're at $24.99 each in near mint condition, supposedly. So let's take a look, see how it looks like. I bought this card particularly because it's been printed. Let's get a little closer here since we got a lot of real estate. It's been reprinted a lot lately, and the price has come down big, big time. And I like the old border. Okay, let's look at what that. This is one thing I don't like about their packaging is sometimes the cards get stuck in here, and I feel like the movement inside this hard case can be worrisome. Well, this one's really clean, nice. That looks good. I don't know if the camera is having a hard time focusing probably, but that's really clean. Yeah, so I think the reason why this card has come down in value a lot because they've reprinted old frame, basically the same exact card, just with the little promo magic little logo there. I mean, obviously the card stock's going to be a lot different. But uh, it looks very identical. One of these days I'll have to bring them in. So I bought four of these because back in the day this was, still is, crazy powerful card. It was very, very expensive. And I think at 25 bucks for a near mint copy and Tempest original card, this is a good card to get, at least for my collection. Um, so right now, just dipping back into the market, I started to buy, look for cards that I've wanted in the past. 
and I've liked and uh, just either haven't gone around to buying them back then or didn't find it and I basically stopped buying because the market just went out or went up so much kind of priced me out of the market and things just got really expensive oh jeez it's like static or something there you go Alright, demonic hordes. Let's look at this order. Alright, this one. Pick this up. Demonic hordes, five bucks. Force of nature, early harvest. So this order I basically bought because I wanted Hall of Gemstones and Root Maze. Reparations. Everything else I kind of just found cards to fill the order to hit the $35 free shipping threshold. Let's take a look. Yes, the Monic Hordes is pretty clean. I like, always love this card. The artwork is super awesome. And plus back in the day, even though the high mana cost, which wasn't that big of a deal back then, the game was a lot slower. Once you put this thing on the board, man, killer. Force of Nature, for 35 cents, beat down. This is not gonna be probably ever worth anything, but just having the card is cool. I like it. I mean, 35 cents for like a 20 year old card, it's worth it to me as long as, you know, I have the space for it. Early harvest, okay. I think I was putting together some kind of deck or something. This is $1.79, okay, cool. Hall of Gemstones, this one was the card I wanted. Always wanted this card. Abilities are really awesome, goes in a lot of decks. 16.99 near mint. All these are supposedly near mint, and they are very clean. Root maze, cool tempest card. Nice. All right. Let's see, root maze was 9.49. It's pretty pricey. All artifacts, lands come into play tapped. One man enchantment. Log down your player. Reparations. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's see. Last and final order of this batch. Let's see what I got here. I think this one's super random. Okay, basically I wanted to buy Curse Scroll. There was no near mint one, so I bought two EX ones. And then City of Solitude from Visions, I also wanted to get everything else is just filler stuff. But yeah, I was just waiting for this, the Curse Scroll near mint one to pop up forever, and it just, they weren't popping up. And actually, after I bought these not too long ago, they did pop up. Just one, though. So I'm going to have to go back and buy some more. But I I really wanted to see... Jeez, let's see. I don't want to move that too much in there. Let's see if I can get it out. All right, if you guys know a better way to get this card out, please let me know. I mean, lucky, luckily it's a 35 cent chromium, but from uh, oh gee, Chronicles, but it's it's stuck, static, static stuck in there or what? People are going to be cringing. All right, come on, come on, guy. Okay, I'm going to leave it in there for now. Jeez. But anyways, yeah, I wanted to see how the scroll rack quality was. Here we go. City of Solitude. This one supposed to be EX. Let's see. There's so EX under near mint. That's really clean though, actually. Under oh I see. Okay. There's probably little might be a little dent in the back there. Maybe kinda of hard to tell, but this actually looks really, really clean for EX. Oh yeah, a little bit here. I mean, overall, that is clean. If if they're all EX like this, I'd be I'd be down to buy more at EX. See, I bought some lands from Tempest. I don't have these, so two cursed scrolls. Okay, okay, that was a little thing right there. Mm, okay, pretty clean though overall. I'm pretty. Oh, here, ooh, this one's. What happened here? That's a binder thing, I think. Cards, yeah, this one's kind of bummer, but okay. 
this one, yeah, this one's clean though. This will make up for it, but this one, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know if I'd call that EX. That's pretty beat up right there. Yikes. Okay, that's fine. I'll make it into my deck or something. Let's see what else I get. Forbidden Ritual. Let's see. So I got the City of Solitude for $16.99. Curse Scroll, $17.84. Uh, let's see. Forbidden Ritual is $3 each. $3.50, $3.49. Sacrifice a card. So I was thinking about doing, putting this in like a Buried Alive deck or something. And then let's see. Root Maze. Got another Root Maze. $9.49. So I got two Root Mazes now. Okay. I like these lands. I don't have them. So I picked this one up. Grim Feast. This one. This art really gets me. It's crazy good art right there. It's a dude gnawing at some dead, eye, dead guy's arm. That's awesome. And then this one's just fun, just a filler card. I got 99 cents and then the chromium in here. If he ever wants to come out of his cage. All right, that's it. That's what I bought. Um, and these three orders, I'll keep buying stuff. Probably keep looking, maybe branch out to TCG a little bit. Some of the Facebook groups I'll be buying out there and uh, sharing what I've been buying. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys on the next video. Keep on cracking.